Hello, my name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I specialize in medical hypnosis, guided imagery, nutrition and exercise, my mantra being how to live a longer, happier, healthier life. Today's health tip is entitled The Truth About Cholesterol. Everybody is worried about their cholesterol and so they should be because it can have deleterious side effects when it's very high. I thought it wise just to give you um, a few hints about cholesterol and what you should know about it. Cholesterol is a blood fat and it's manufactured in the liver and one ingests cholesterol in the form of saturated fats such as uh, red meat, cheese, butter, etc. Now, this, the cholesterol, the normal cholesterol, should be below 200 milligrams per deciliter. If it's below 200, it's fine. 200 to 239 is borderline, and over 239 is abnormal. The first time one should be tested is more or less around the age of 20. High cholesterol can be familial. In other words, it runs in family, families, and it's called familial hypercholesterolemia. What the cholesterol does is it tends to clog up the arteries, and as a result thereof, leads to complications such as heart attack and stroke and kidney disease because the cholesterol is uh, clogging up the arteries. Now, it is very important to prevent cholesterol is, first of all, you have your level checked, and if it's high, you don't need to begin with medication straight away. How to treat it is initially you treat it with exercise and nutrition having an extremely low saturated fat diet. It doesn't mean that you have to exclude all types of fats because olive oil and canola oil are good fats. But the saturated fat in eggs, cheese, butter, cream, uh, red meat, is uh, you should not take it because that aggravates your high cholesterol. The first thing to treat cholesterol is through the diet, as I said, having a nutritious diet that's very low in cholesterol, and exercise. You'd be amazed how exercise can assist in lowering your cholesterol. If after three months the cholesterol is high, still after you've started the exercise program and you're eating a low cholesterol diet, then and then only is medication indicated. The type of medication that one uses today is called statins, the various statin drugs, and they work pretty well in lowering the cholesterol and have uh, basically, f relatively speaking, few, uh, few side effects. High cholesterol can be familial, as I mentioned, and people with uh, familial hypercholesterolemia are more uh, prone to getting heart attacks and strokes. So if this is the case, they have to go on uh, high doses of statins to keep their cholesterol low, uh, be on a strict low cholesterol diet, and exercise. Women and men can suffer from a high cholesterol, and in women it comes more or less once they go through their menopause. More and more we are seeing females having heart attacks and they don't present in the same way as a man does. So sometimes they may uh, present with upper back pain or pain in one arm, which is not classical for the symptoms of heart attack as in a male where one gets chest pain, pain radiating down the arm or up into the neck, shortness of breath, dizziness, etc. If a female should develop symptoms that are 
abnormal such as upper back pain with some nausea or maybe a little vomiting, they should not hesitate but go to the emergency room call 911, especially if they know that their cholesterol um, is high. How to prevent high cholesterol is by diet and exercise, not eating too much saturated fat and uh, eat uh, nuts, beans, a nutritious uh, diet high in uh, antioxidants and polyphenols such as fruit and vegetables and whole grains. Oatmeal has a fantastic effect on cholesterol in as much that it can lower cholesterol. So I think that these are the most important things that you should think about because the complications of high cholesterol uh, can be deleterious. However, if a cholesterol level is below 40 in a male, they run the risk of having a heart attack also. Cholesterol is important in the body for it is a fat and it is needed to um, uh, manufacture vitamin D and it's needed in every cell in the body because the, the fat is needed. But when it becomes high, then it can cause illness. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I thank you for listening to today's health tip.